you, me, everyone we have ever met, and everyone we ever will meet, are all going to die. I'm sorry if that was too forward. Death can be a touchy topic. In the ocean of internet data, there are many stoicism slipstreams which encourage us to contemplate death, to meditate on it, and to think about it. Today I will indulge this. Ultimately it seems to me that the point of thinking about death is not to grow weary of life, but to help us appreciate it more. One day you and I will die. I do not know when. I don't know if it will be in the morning, or the evening, or at midnight. I don't know if it will be in the spring, or summer, or winter, or autumn. I don't know if it will be in 50 years, or 5 months, 10 years, or 1 week. I don't know if I'll be in a hospital room, or in my own room, if I'll be surrounded by loved ones, or strangers who happen to be walking past on a random street. I don't know if I'll die in war or peacetime. I don't know if I'll have the opportunity to reflect on my life. I don't know if I'll be weighed down by regret or gratitude. I don't know if I'll feel as if I lived a good life. I don't know if I'll feel as if I failed. I don't know if I'll have the chance to personally forgive those who have hurt me. I don't know if I'll have the chance to personally be forgiven by those who I have hurt. I don't know how physically painful my death will be. I don't know how emotionally painful my death will be. I don't know if I'm brave enough to feel that pain without weeping. I don't know if I'll be courageous. I don't know, from the vantage point of that moment, what will seem important to me versus what I now think important. I don't know if I'll be happy. I don't know how I'll cope with the knowledge that I'm leaving my wife and my children behind. God willing, they do outlive me. I don't know if I'll remember all the angry people I got to meet. I don't know if I'll remember all the happy people I got to meet. I don't know if I'll be upset for not pursuing a different path or making a different major decision along the way. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know about all the other factors which I cannot consider because they do not even occur to me. I don't know if I'll ever remember writing this, and I don't know if it will provide any consolation if I do. I do know that I will not regret being a Catholic on my deathbed. I do know that I will not regret the prayers I've said throughout my life. I do know that I will still love my wife and my children more than words can express. I do know that I will not regret the friendships I've made, nor regret friendship itself. I do know that life is strange and that death is very likely far stranger. I do know that, deep down, there is a part of me, and a part of you too, which believes that everything is going to be alright. I do know that one day my day will come. I do know that one day your day will come. I do know that in 300 years, every human being on this planet will be dead. Except perhaps Brian Johnson and Keith Richards. I do know that all the people in all the cars on the road, the person in front of you, 
the person behind you, all the people in all the shopping malls, and in all the movies and mansions and slums and aeroplanes and penthouses, in boardrooms and pubs and nightclubs and golf courses, all the people in yachts and Ferraris and castles and shacks, all the people at comic book conventions and open houses, at nature reserves and in Silicon Valley, I do know we will all be gone, and the world will have an entirely new set of people occupying the space we now inhabit. Eventually we will forget everything, and everything will forget us. But right now, we get to have this time together. We get to have the world at our fingertips and our toes. We will eventually lose this time, but that is only because we were fortunate enough to have it in the first place. When we die, I think a small, still part of ourselves will breathe a sigh of relief. I made it. It's finally over. I do not believe that death is the end, but if not the end, then simply a full stop. A new sentence is bound to follow. <laughs>